verification. There was a great movie out there. I don't remember the name of it because it was so good. Uh, the little line said trust, but verify. Right? Um, so that's what verification is all about. Trust what you got, but verify it. Science doesn't get anywhere without verification. So we use verification in our field to find out whether or not we've ruled out hypothetical... Oh, no. Shoot. Shh. Don't... Ah, I wasn't supposed to say that damn word. To find out whether or not we've ruled out concomitant variables, also called confounds, also called the enemy of science. So we use those reversal techniques. We use those with withdrawal techniques. The ABA design, the ABAB design. We use all of that stuff to establish verifi or as a verification procedure to say, here's the baseline. Then we do this intervention, right? Let me move here. So here's the baseline. Then we do this intervention. The behavior goes up. And we go, hmm, I wonder if that was due to something else. Well, I don't know. Let's verify it by removing the intervention and see if behavior goes back to baseline. But we're still not convinced. So we go, boom, we put it back into place. The intervention, we go, ha, ha. We've not only verified the baseline, we have also verified the independent variable. And we are probably at this point have completely ruled out all confounds, which is pretty damn cool, especially since we didn't use a, st a statistic.